What's up nation, Noah from Noah Nation Gaming here back again and today we're going to be starting a brand new series on the channel Smackdown vs Raw 2008 General Manager Mode featuring ECW and who are we going to be? Who are we going to play as in General Manager Mode? More importantly, who are we going to draft as in General Manager Mode? Yo, it's 2008, you gotta pick ECW, alright? This is the first game that ECW was truly featured in um ever since they came back and this and that and everybody knows the story um but you know we got raw we could play as the coach we got smackdown we could play as teddy long or we got ecw and unfortunately this game they made tommy dreamer the ecw general manager so you couldn't use him in gm mode very stupid decision but nonetheless i'm still gonna play as ecw we only have one championship to worry about and that's the ecw title and in this game with the lackluster roster um being spread out between three brands i think that kind of helps so we're gonna play as ecw we're gonna draft as extreme championship wrestling so nonetheless let's get into the ecw smack vs raw 2008 general manager mode draft right now all right real quick we're gonna edit the available rosters i do have a couple legends that we're gonna put on so mick foley i don't have all of them unlocked but for the ones that we got i'm gonna put them on we got mick foley uh rick rude might as well roddy piper might as well sabu definitely um terry funk is on tory wilson's <laughs> didn't mean to turn, turn tory wilson off um but that's it so okay all right so here we go we actually have the very first pick now the 2008 draft is kind of weird you know i might have the first pick then raw might get two picks then smackdown might get two then i'll get two and then i might get one it's a weird so we're just gonna go along with this and if i don't like it, i'll backtrack and you'll never see this we'll do a different draft act like it never happened but this is the first run let's see what happens we got the first overall pick um so here we go john cena's at the top already sorted by popularity um john cena triple h Rey mysterio Shawn michaels undertaker mick foley terry funk edge and so on and so forth so i could pick up john cena i could pick up triple h but listen i want still an ecw type feel on my roster now that doesn't mean we're not going to pick up some other names you know some WWE legends but i still want that ecw core roster so i'm going to pass on john i'm going to pass on triple h i'm thinking about right i'm thinking about the undertaker foley funk edge those are all guys i want on my roster so we got to be strategic here man you know, uh, surprisingly, that Terry Funk's more popular than, you know, Randy Orton and Batista in this game, but I digress. Anyway, do we want to pick Ray? Do we want to pick The Undertaker? I'm going to go ahead and pick up as my very first pick. I'm going to pick up The Undertaker. So, see, right off the bat, SmackDown, John Cena, Shawn Michaels, Raw, Triple H, Mick Foley. So, we're missing out on Mick Foley. I wanted him for my roster. Oh, well. But this should mean we get two picks unless this thing's messing with us. So, here we go. Our second pick... We have Rey Mysterio, Terry Funk, Edge. There's just three guys right there that we want, but I'm going to go ahead and pick up Terry Funk because he's a, you know an ECW guy, and then it's either Rey or Edge. So which one do I want to bring to ECW? I like the idea of Edge versus Taker and Edge versus Funk. I think Edge gives us more appealing matches. So even though Rey's my guy, you know, you see him in the background back there, I'm going to go ahead and and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up Edge. So SmackDown picked up Rey Mysterio and Bobby Lashley, two guys who I would have liked on ECW. Raw picked up Batista and Randy Orton. So next up, we have Piper, Flair, Rude, Punk, um, and then so on and so forth again. So definitely gotta pick up CM Punk as our number four pick. And then here we go, number five. So obviously, you know, I kind of pick one and then the computer, you know, picks four for the other two brands. So got to be strategic on who we pick. I want Elijah Burke, but I feel like if I don't, and I feel like if I don't pick him here, one of the other brands might pick him up. Kind of like Flair though. Might be a little more of an intriguing piece for the roster. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I'm going to pick up Ric Flair. So SmackDown got Rick Rude and Mr. Kennedy and Raw got Candice Michelle and King Booker. So we got Elijah Burke still out here. Uh, Marcus Corbin, Sabu. Definitely want to make sure I pick up Sabu and Sandman. Um, you know what? I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to grab Sabu now. Three months. And then do I want to pick up Elijah Burke? Or do I want to pick up Sandman? Sandman, I feel like, should still be here in the next round. we got the Hardy Boys, too. Uh, very hard. Um, do I want to gamble and pick up Elijah Burke? He's definitely, he's definitely going to be gone in the next round. I can't see him lasting another round. Hmm. Oh, this is a hard choice, man. It's a hard choice. Elijah, Marcus Corvine could get Kane, Sandman, got the Hardy Boys out here. 
then it starts thinning out a little bit. We got some names, but <sighs> let's just see what happens. Elijah Burke. All right, so SmackDown got Carlito, Unumaga, and Raw picked up Roddy Piper and Marcus Corvon. Now, that sucks because I wanted Marcus Corvon, put him and Burke together. You know, new breed is what it is. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to pick up Sandman at number nine, or number eight. And at number nine, we're going to go ahead and pick up Jeff Hardy. So SmackDown picked up Matt Hardy and the Great Khali. So we will not have the Hardy boys together unless we trade for Matt. And then Raw picked up Kane and Johnny Nitro. So our 10th pick now, this is where it starts thinning out. So let's go up to the top. JTG and Shatter at the top. Then we got a bunch of women here. Finley, MVP, and some other names. So definitely might end up picking up some of these women so I can trade them away. But I still need some depth on my roster. So I like MVP. So I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick up Mr. Montel Vontavious Porter for ECW. And then what's this? Our number 11th pick. I'm going to go ahead. I'm not, I'm honestly, I'm not going to end up using him. I'm going to trade him away, but I'm going to use JTG as since he is the most popular guy on the roster and the, you know, free agents right now, I'm going to go ahead and sign him for five weeks. We're going to end up trading him away. Use him as trade bait. Little GM mode tip for you there. So I got JTG. SmackDown picked up Shad and Chris Masters. Uh, Raw picked up Molina and Finley. So do I want any of these other names down here? Chavo, Helms, Dykstra, Henry, Snitsky, and Regal. Uh, I'll go ahead and I will take, I think I'd rather have Helms over Chavo. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick up Gregory Helms for three months. And then number 13, I'm going to pick up Kelly Kelly and use, also use her as trade bait. Uh, so SmackDown's got Mickey James and William Regal. Rawls got Chavo and Dykstra. So we got Tori Wilson, Ashley, Michelle McCool, Mark Henry, and Snitsky out here. We have, uh, really 12 people on our Rawls or yeah, 11 people on our roster we're going to use. We're going to trade JTG and Kelly Kelly. So I'm going to pick up Tori. Same thing. Trade bait. Number 15. Let's go ahead and let's grab... Uh, this will probably be my last pick. So do I want to also get Ashley and use her as trade bait? Um, Yeah, fuck it. We're just going to get Ashley. And I'm going to assume, yeah, everyone's gone. So that'll be it for the draft. Now let's go ahead and make some trades. Actually, real quick, need to set the clean and dirty superstars. So CM Punk will put... Uh, I'll put clean, Edge dirty, Burke dirty, uh, Gregor Helms dirty, Jeff Hardy clean, JTG does matter, Kelly Kelly does matter, MVP dirty, Flair clean, Sabu clean, Sandman clean, Terry Phone clean, Tory Wilson clean, Undertaker, Undertaker we're going to put dirty, mix it up, Undertaker's going to be dirty, and our champions, our first champion, our first champion's going to be the man himself, Terry Funk, there you go, except. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can make some trades. So we picked up a few people, purposely to trade them away. Let's see who SmackDown's got. Um, they got Ray, they got Lashley, they have Matt Hardy, who we could want. And then over here on Raw, they have Marcus Corvon, McFoley. I'm purposely, I mean, they obviously have other people, but I'm purposely, you know, saying names that I think would be good assets for ECW. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to shoot for the high here. I'm going to see if we can trade for a number of popular 84, popularity 84, Mick Foley. So let's throw in JTG and let's throw in Ashley. JTG and Ashley for Mick, Mick Foley. Excuse me. Proposed trade. Yes. Accept. Declined. All right. Let's see what else we can do. Raw. Raw. Marcus Corbon, number 71, or popularity 71. How am I talking about? And we'll give them... You think that would just take a 70 Kelly Kelly? Probably not. Because that doesn't match up. But it was worth a shot. Alright, hold on. Let's go to SmackDown real quick. SmackDown. I need to really... Let's really think about who I want here. If they didn't take... If I couldn't get a trade for Mick Foley... I mean, I'd have to just trade more away. But let's see if we can pick up Bobby Lashley for JTG as well as Ashley. Let's see if SmackDown will go for... This trade, see if we can get Lashley. They <laughs> accepted it. What's up? So we got Bobby Lashley on ECW now. They took JTG and Ashley. Oh, we're going to be so hurt without them. All right, so who else we got on our roster that we're rolling the trade? We picked up Tori Wilson and Kelly Kelly um, to use them as trade bait. And honestly, I'm not afraid to trade MVP or Gregory Helms either. Just throwing that out there. So let's go ahead. I'm going to see if though we can get a trade for Matt Hardy here. Just popularity 71 uh, Kelly Kelly's a 70, Tori Wilson's a 70, 
MVP 60, Gregory Helms uh, 56. Hold on, let me check Raw one more time. Mark Scorvon 71. Do I want Matt Hardy to make the Hardy boys or do I want Mark Scorvon? I know that's probably a no-brainer to some people, but I like Mark Scorvon. Um, <laughs> or we could see if, Mar if Raw will take like all three of them or like take like a three-for-one deal and we can get Mick Foley. Um, I mean, we could just try real quick, right? We could just try. Take Kelly Kelly. Y'all can take Tori Wilson as well. And then just to sweeten the deal, I'll give you Gregory Helms. Ready? Proposed trade. They accepted it too. Mick Foley now part of ECW for Kelly Kelly, Tori Wilson, and Gregory Helms. So good shit there. I know we're going to have less people on our roster now. So we currently have Terry Funk, The Undertaker, Mick Foley, Edge, Bobby Lashley, Ric Flair, CM Punk, Elijah Burke, Sabu, Sandman, Jeff Hardy, MVPs. What was that, 12 people right there? Um, MVP is a popularity 68. So I don't think, or 60, did it say? I don't know. So I don't think we're going to be able to really get anything uh, good for him unless we built him up a little bit and then try trading for him. But yeah, that's the roster. So top to bottom, wait, most popular is Terry Funk, Undertaker. I know I already ran this down, but Terry Funk, Undertaker, Mick Foley, Edge, Lashley, Flair, Punk, Burke. Sabu, Sandman, Jeff Hardy, and MVP. That is the ECW roster. So we'll go ahead. Let's see. Oh, we had some uh, other stuff in here. Trade decline, trade decline. Trades accepted over here. Making deals out here. We'll go ahead and we will. Uh, I'm just going to simulate to the first ECW show. And obviously, we'll do all the other stuff, you know, trophy dates and stuff. That's a cool thing about 2008 is you can kind of cheat and just boost all your guys up uh, pretty easily in popularity. But uh, for now, we're just going to get some money, and we're going to just see if we can have a kick-ass show. So, advertising promo. And we're not going to play any of the matches on this episode, uh, just because it's mostly about the draft. But definitely going to be playing some matches in the future. So, we'll just kind of go all out. Let's go. Uh, first blood match. Why not? Well, let's put the ECW title in line. Terry Funk going to defend against The Undertaker. Boom. Big time main event right there for the first ECW. So, next... Obviously, that's the only title we have. Um, so let's go ahead. We'll put on another. We'll just do a singles match here. We have Lashley, Punk, Edge. Let's go ahead and let's put up Edge versus McFoley. One on one. Another singles match. We'll go CM Punk versus Elijah Burke. For the Young Guns during this time up against each other. Let's do a little steel cage match for the hell of it. I'm just throwing stuff together. Bobby Lashley is going to be locked inside a steel cage with MVP. And then our opening match. Uh, what have we got? Four guys left. Fatal 4-Way. Jeff Hardy. Sandman. Sabu. Ric Flair. Boom. Book it. That's the first show right there. Just kind of throw it together. But whatever. We're just, you know, rolling with the punches on this first episode. Confirm. Proceed. Simulate all. So first match, Ric Flair wins the Fatal 4-Way. We have MVP taking down Bobby Lashley inside the steel cage. CM Punk defeats Elijah Burke. Edge defeats Mick Foley. And Terry Funk retains the ECW Championship in a first blood match over The Undertaker. Epic stuff. So that is the first episode in the books of ECW General Manager Mode here on SmackDown vs. Raw 2008. More of these to come. It's going to be a whole series here on the No Nation Gaming Channel. Very excited for it. Maybe I'll do a 2007 one here on the channel eventually. Maybe I'll start it soon. Maybe I'll wait till this is done. I don't know. Let me know what you want to see me do in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to like the video. Do all that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. No Nation Gaming, I'm out. Peace.